How's it going, guys? Welcome back. In the heat, for a long time, my go-to pants were by 5.11 Tactical. These, I think, are the Taclite Pro pants. They were good. They were, they're, they're thin, a lighter color, so they really don't attract the heat very much. Uh, but they definitely weren't perfect. They were close, but there was a few things that just didn't make sense. And I think the reason behind that is that these are really meant more for law enforcement, military-style use. Uh, or people who just like that kind of thing. They're not exactly for construction. So, and the other thing is that some things haven't aged very well. Like, they had this cell phone pocket here, which would have been fine for your, like, 1999 flip phone or something. But modern smartphones just won't fit in there. The other th problem was this, like, woven cotton strap thing on the back here. It goes right over the back right pocket. I'm not really sure what this was for, but... It just kept on getting hung up. Enough so that I was thinking actually like of trying to cut it off of there and, and getting rid of it. I tried hanging my radio off of it. There's a little clip on the back of your radio. Tried hanging that off it. It didn't really do very good because it would just kind of flop around. I have no idea what that's for. That always got hung up. So they were good, but they weren't perfect. And um, I had two pairs of these. These are the second and the ones that are probably on their way out. But like I said, they just weren't construction type pants. But in the beginning of the summer, I picked up a pair of Carhartt Force Ripstop Cargo Pants, and those I've been using all summer, and they're much more suited to my type of work. They're less complicated than these with, with fewer pockets and fewer things to get in the way, but we're going to go over all that. However, for full transparency, I just want to let you know that I do have a relationship with Carhartt. Um, I went to the Friends of Carhartt event. Um, I have a contact over there who will let me know different things about details, um, upcoming products, stuff like that. Um, but they also know that when I make a video that it's going to be my opinion and that I will talk about the cons and the pros, all that stuff, full transparency. I want to let you know that because I think it's important. Um, my opinions are my own and I would never steer you wrong. My integrity is more important to me than any relationship. So um, I just want to let you know that right off the bat. Now, it makes sense to begin with the fabric. This is a nice, thin, 7-ounce stretch ripstop comprised of 69% cotton and 31% polyester. Now, point of comparison, my 5.11s that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, those were 65% polyester, and the rest, I think, was just kind of cotton and then maybe some unknown materials. These are more cotton, and it, it, they do feel a lot nicer against your skin. This makes them also super light and breathable, but also tough and kind of stretchy, so it's hard to... It's really kind of interesting the way they've blended these two to make a really great fabric, especially for the summer. Now, if you're going to go from a duck canvas to these, it's like going from a dump truck to a convertible sports car. Maybe an old Bronco, actually, with a top off or something like that. Way more at home in the heat. Now, that thinner material paired with the ripstop makes for a pretty awesome texture. And one that you don't really see too much when it's a thicker material. In fact, I posted a couple of pictures of these on my Instagram. Uh, and actually, I was trying to focus on my boots, but I was wearing these pants. And a bunch of people were asking me, not about the boots, but, hey, where did you get those cool-looking pants? Now, last year, I fell in love with these. These are the steel cargo pants. They're crazy. Very, very fully featured. Tons of different things on here. Pockets and reinforcements and stretch cordura and all kinds of stuff. Like, you know, spots for your, your like top loading knee pads and reinforcements down here at the cuff. I wore these things a lot last summer when I was walking 27 miles on the railroad. And it was just like they were a godsend. They had all the features of these 5.11s plus more. And um, these are awesome. But they can be a bit much. I mean, these things are so fully featured and so durable and robust and all that stuff that they kind of look a little silly if you're not wearing them at work, in my opinion. Because the bags, you know, the cargo bags hang off the side, all these reinforcements and stuff, they make sense when you're carrying tools. But if you're going out for ice cream, it may look like you're sort of like a tactical tryhard. But this is where the Force Ripstop pants really shine. They have plenty of pockets and strength in a lighter duty package at half the price. From a purely aesthetic perspective, they're much easier to wear casually and feature some really nice and interesting cargo pockets, but more on that in a minute. These come in either dark khaki or shadow gray and are available as pants or two different lengths of shorts. Actually, I didn't realize this at first, but nearly every pant that Carhartt makes is available in shorts as well, so if you want a bulletproof pair of shorts, look no further. I really don't wear shorts that much, but if you're into it, there you go. 
The layout is familiar with two back pockets, two front pockets with reinforced openings, and two cargo pockets just above the knee in the normal place you would expect. But these pockets deserve a closer look. You'll notice that they're pretty streamlined. They don't hang off the side of your pants like saddlebags, like the 1990s style. This was always my main gripe with cargo pants. They, they work fine, but when you actually put stuff in them, uh, they're, they're hanging off the side of your leg, flapping in the breeze. And these actually blend right into the pant because they're actually sewn in a way that's integral to the leg rather than like a billowy thing that's just stitched onto the side. Now this design does come at the expense of ultimate capacity. If you're really looking to stuff a lot of stuff into your cargo pockets, these aren't gonna hold as much as the ones like on the steel cargo pants. But for those of us who use them to just kind of hold random tools and stuff like that, it's not a deal breaker. I really haven't found myself wanting for any more capacity. But there's also a second pocket sewn to the outside of the pocket bag for smaller items. And it just so happens to fit a smartphone perfectly, but I like this pocket better to store my razor knife since it usually gets lost inside of the bigger main pocket. At 10 inches wide, the cargo pockets are plenty spacious, but they also have a little trick up their sleeves. The middle section of the flap is open, so you can actually put stuff into them with the flap closed. And I actually use this opening a lot to hook my car keys while keeping them relatively secure. It's a clever little feature that works really, really well. Now on the shorts, you get the same pockets on the longer version, but on the shorter version, they have a smaller cargo pocket. So just keep that in mind if that's a deal breaker for you. Now the stretch is noticeable, but I wouldn't go as far as to call these really stretchy pants and I wouldn't wear them to the gym or anything, but it's nice to have your pants move with you rather than fight you. And the mobility is further enhanced by a gusset in the crotch, so crouching or kneeling isn't an issue. The fabric is moisture wicking and they feel really nice on those hot days because they're sort of airy. Now, as anybody who works with their hands will tell you, you have to have the right tool for the right job. And that's an important thing to know with these pants. These are excellent, but they're not gonna take the place of your double front, firm, duck canvas, crazy pants, you know? If they're really meant for a certain purpose. These have been excellent in the heat, but I could also see them being very useful if what you need is like a high speed, low drag type of pant, because they're thin, they stretch, um, they have that ripstop fabric, so they're also tough, but they, they are, they're not as fully featured as something like this, like the steel cargo pants. So there's so many different offerings from the brand. And as a matter of fact, one of these days, I would love to do a video where I kind of break down all of their different pants because there's so many and knowing when to use which model is really important. So that's important to know about these. They're not gonna take the place of your super duper durable stuff they're really more intended for a specific purpose. Or casually, I think they they work great casually and I wear them all the time after work because they don't look goofy and they still work. So um, great pants though, really cool stuff. And you might wanna get yourself a pair. And if you do, there's a link in the description below. Now those are affiliate links. I get a small commission. You pay absolutely nothing more and I absolutely love you for using them. So it's win-win, come on now. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.